What's going on, YouTube? Northeast Ohio Marvel cards here for another Marvel unboxing. Uh, not doing this one live, pre recording this one. Uh, and today we are ripping 1992 Jim Lee X Men box. Um, absolutely iconic box. Jim Lee, probably the gold standard when it comes to X Men artwork. Uh, these cards are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know. They're definitely not as valuable as the Marvel Universe Series 1 stuff that's been going crazy. Um, I don't even know how their value will stack up to like Marvel Series 2 and Marvel Masterpieces and some of the other stuff. But if X-Men stuff ever catches fire, like all the other comic book cards are, um, specifically, you know, like the, the MCU stuff's pulling a premium right now. Iron Man, Cap, Thor, et cetera, et cetera. Spider-Man. If the X-Men stuff ever catches, these will be the cards you want, in my opinion, other than maybe like Marvel Universe Series 1. Anything Wolverine's always going to hold value. But this has some of the best artwork out there, period. Full stop. The whole set is Jim Lee, and it's all custom um art for the cards so these aren't comic book images a lot of the times you'll see some of these early 90s sets are comic images pulled from um <clears throat> the pages of the comic books versus originally hand-drawn stuff like this was so these cards are fairly iconic to me i collected the hell out of these as a kid the big things that we are looking for most of the stuff is i want to sort out and grab some gradable stuff um, things that I would be looking to immediately grade would be Wolverine, Deadpool, and the holograms if they look good. Um, this is Deadpool's first real card. Uh, he has a card inside of uh, the X, X Force number one comic book uh, that was a promo card, and he has a comics images card, but this is like his first true um, trading card. So we got the old Gerber here, and off we go to the races these cards from what i have seen usually come out in pretty good shape as always centering is the big issue and if you see so there's two versions of this box there's this teal one and then there is a purple one with wolverine on the top they are identical there is no difference between the two other than the box artwork i bought this particular box back in the spring for about 60 or 65 bucks. That's what they were going for. Depending on the time that you're watching this, these have a really shot up in value. Uh, these go anywhere from 350 to $400 at the moment and probably even higher. There's not a lot graded out of this. Um, a Deadpool recently sold in PSA 10 for an undetermined amount of money. I say that because um, 130 point lists it at 550, but I think it was a case where um, the buyer or the seller accepted. I'm sorry, the buyer accepted an offer that the seller sent back. And if that's the case, you don't get the true value. Look at how just look at that. Trying a different camera setup this time as well for this. So a um, little folded over there, but other than that, these look like they're in pretty good shape. I'm going to move quickly through these because uh, there are a billion packs in here. So these are 36 packs to a box, I believe. Um, so I'm going to stack these all up here and then we will get to ripping. Um, but I purchased, I can't tell you how many of these I bought and ripped as a kid so we'll set that off to the side i'm gonna set that off to the side and throw the empty wrappers in there i think i got some penny sleeves off to the side so this pack looks the most jacked up out of all these um but we will see so once again my immediate concern is wolverine deadpool and the holograms but we'll go slow for the first couple and then i'll speed things up so once again the artwork on these is just fantastic uh, I'm just going to look at these corners look pretty good on this pack, considering this one was pretty crumpled up. 
there's mystique once again the artwork on these is just outstanding i'm going to keep saying it over and over and over again uh danger room set this makes a whole danger room they all connect together uh to make an entire set let me just get some piles going over here off camera and these things will be the most 90s things ever so these are actually pretty easy to tell centering on besides just being able to eyeball it. You can also see there's little X-Men logos on the side there, and you could kind of use them as a guide for centering. So you could cheat a little bit in addition to the bars on the left and the right. So once again, for those unfamiliar with this set, the only thing that will come out of here are X-Men characters and associated X-Men characters and their villains. So no uh, Cap, no Iron Man. I mean, look at that. Iceman card. Just absolutely gorgeous. And same with that Psylocke. And like I said before, for the purposes of this, this is more much more of a spec play. So most of the things out of here, if I think they're gradable, I would send at a slower service time. Uh, and this is on the hopes that the Marvel stuff stays hot and it carries over to when the X-Men eventually come. I feel like that was the exact same pack that we opened earlier. The first pack that we opened, this was the exact same pack. Uh, other than that Star Jammers card. The Star Jammers card was not in there. But so far, these look fairly decent. Oh, the other one I would consider grading out of here is Magneto. The Magneto card out of here is also absolutely gorgeous. Uh, at a quick glance, and I'm not paying, like, super close attention, centering looks okay. There are definitely some that are heavy one way or the other. That is for sure. These are not like perfectly centered by any means. So for a lot of this older stuff, centering is always going to be the key factor. And it's the first thing I look at before I dig too deep into the card, looking at the corners and stuff, unless there's like an obvious... old school packs sometimes they open very easy and sometimes they do not holograms out of here look really good they're borderless which is going to make it near impossible for grading but oh there's magneto so we'll take a look at that let me get these sets off to the side So I'm just going to look at corners and stuff real quick off camera. So corners wise, this looks, well, I lied. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this on camera. Right there, a little soft corner. So. That one's probably not going to be gradable. I didn't even look at centering yet on this. But centering wise looks not terrible. But the corner is going to be the death knell of that card. But just a gorgeous looking card. One of the best. I think that's probably artwork wise. Uh, one of the best looking cards in the entire set. And funny enough, as a kid... That was the one card I was always missing. If I flip through my original binder, which I have sitting behind me here, there is a hole for the Magneto spot. I mean, look at the Rogue artwork. I'm going to keep talking about the artwork in this set because it's what really gives it the extra oomph.
Anyone that was big into comic books in the early 90s knows the Jim Lee artwork. Rogue's got a little surface crease in it, probably from being at the top of the pack. All right, still no Wolverine or Deadpool. One Magneto. This is, and I forget, I should have looked. Um, this is a fairly small set, so we should get quite a few dupes out of here, in theory. Of course, you say that, and then, uh, you know, you get the, the ones that you really want. You only get one of. Shadow Cats. Upstarts. Ah, the Sentinels. Always love the Sentinels. So what I'm doing off to the side is that you cannot see. I'm just making basically color-coded piles. Each different card in this set essentially has a... Uh, Different color. The teams are pink. The villains are purple. So I'm just sorting them by those piles to save me a little bit of time at the end. Rocky, can we get a Deadpool, please? Nope, Deathbird. Like I said, this is definitely more of a spec play. These boxes used to be extremely reasonably priced. They have really shot up based off of... Essentially that the Marvel series one is kind of driving prices on everything else right now, um, whether that's correct or not. No one really knows, but that's what happened. It's an amazing looking cable card. And a nice looking Dark Phoenix as well. Yeah, if X-Men hits, man, in my opinion, this will be the set that takes off. Once again, super mass produced. These things are everywhere, but condition matters and are the ones in the wild in PSA 10 condition. And like I said before, centering is a little bit of an issue on these, but this so far from what I have seen, these look better than the Marvel Series 1 box that I ripped, in my opinion. These look a little cleaner centering-wise. Amazing-looking Juggernaut card. People always refer to the different comic book eras as like, you know, everyone, depending on when they grew up and read them, you know, whatever team comp was around back then is kind of your team. Oh, here we go. Here's our first hollow. So you can see. What a nightmare these would be to grade. Let me sleeve this really quick. Just looking it over. So cool looking card uh, definitely has a few little surface marks on it. Uh, you, these will probably not show up on camera. Uh, maybe they will. There are some, sorry for the glare guys and girls. Uh, there's some edging lines here uh, going like this way on the card. The camera is not going to pick them up, but nice looking card. Um, I don't think I would grade this. Cool looking gambit. We are still on the hunt for a. There's our Wolverine.
Just checking corners really quick. So corners wise, this looks pretty good. Edges wise, this looks good. Surface wise, this looks good. Um, assuming that centering checks out. It's a little heavy left to right. Not much. I'll have to put it on the centering tool, but how I'm judging that is on the left hand side. There's almost two full circles on the blue of the X-Men logo and on the right hand side. Come on, autofocus. Uh, it's a little tighter than that. See that one's cut off a little bit and that one's partially cut off. So I'll throw it on the centering tool and take a look, but so hopefully we pull a couple more of him. There's a really nice Wolverine hologram and there is an X-Men team hologram. Um, I would love to pull those as our other hollows. I think the other one is a cable. And there is a Wolverine Danger Room card as well. Those would be really tricky to grade, I think, though, because there's... Well, they might not be. It might be easier. There's no edges on those. I think the Wolverine one's a center card. I don't remember. But I feel like Wolverine's right in the middle. Nice Jean Grey. The Blob. And Bishop. And I am still hoping to rip a box of, depending on when this gets posted, um, I have a second box of 90 coming, Series 1. Uh, I would really like to rip that. But the prices continue to get... But the prices on that keep going astronomically higher. But like Pac-Man card said, sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit. Another Iceman, another Psylocke. Once again, small set, lots of dupes. Uh, but we still have not pulled a Deadpool and only one Wolverine. like our third or fourth mystique, I think. Omega Red also just amazing artwork on that Omega Red. I think that's the first time we've seen Omega Red and Maverick. We are probably Maybe halfway through the box. Wolfsbane, White Queen, amazing artwork on the White Queen. Checklist. Great looking storm too. Like I said, I think if X-Men hit, uh, these would be the cards that I personally would want anyways as a collector. It's old school packs, plasticky packs. Another cable. Forge. I feel like that's the first forge we've seen. And if I wanted, I sh you should be able to get a full set out of one of these boxes easily. Uh, but we are more concerned with the grading than the set. I have a full set of these already. From when I was a kid, they are not in the best of shape. 
Nice looking gambit. Really like that art. Looks like he's fighting Warwolves, maybe, or maybe the Brood. And I think you usually get a few holograms out of one of these. Another gambit. So you can see dupes in full effect, but I believe that was the first brood and boom boom card that we pulled. And we're pulling tons of danger room cards, but I've still yet to pull a Wolverine danger room. And no bricking at all, which that's usually not a problem with these cards. Uh, the old school paper cards usually do not have those problems. Um, these are coming right apart, which is nice. Some of the older Marvel stuff you need to be really careful of. The Marvel masterpieces, the flares, they like to brick, um, which means that the cards stick together and... I would before you bought anything to rip, uh, I would definitely watch a box break of it. There's the Wolverine Danger Room card. Love the Cyclops artwork. Love the back artwork on that. So I have no idea how you tell front centering on this. Um, but I could tell you back centering is pretty far off. You see left to right. Now, PSA typically lets back centering slide quite a bit because they go more for eye appeal of the card and how it looks in the slab. I don't know that I would grade this. I, I mean, I probably would, but not at anything fast speed. So we're well through halfway through the box. <laughs> And we do not have a Deadpool yet, which is getting a bit concerning. I was hoping to pull at least two out of here. We have one Magneto and one Wolverine. And I have a billion of some of these other people. And only one hologram so far as well. Handball. I feel like I've pulled a million Shatter Stars. We've been on an Omega run and a Maverick run lately. So we got three, six, seven, about 10 packs left, maybe, give or take. So a little less than third. Gene, Deadpool, no, trying to will it. Will it into existence. I would also love another Magneto that doesn't have a corner dang. Not like the way that that corner ripped so we're gonna try to go from the other side another omega red why can't all these omega reds be dead pulls if omega red ever gets hot i have v market cornered Brood, Quicksilver. Love how the three cards I want the most we cannot pull. All right, last pack in this stack, and then we got about six or seven over there.
So we need to really need to go on a run here. X Wars Rodius. Yep. All right. Three. Yeah, it looks like exactly six packs left. Should still have at least another hologram coming. I don't think they're one per box. White Queen, Storm, Checklist, Shadow Cats, Mojo. Wolverine, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So still no Deadpool. One Wolverine, one Magneto, and one hologram. Polaris. Wow, this is extremely disappointing to this point. Four to go. Captain Britain. Oh, there's another Magneto at least. Come on. Gonna need some last pack mojo big time on these. Nope. Wow. Wow. Two packs to go. No Deadpool. Oh, there we go. Wow. And might have a soft corner. Yeah, looks like he has a soft corner. Centering doesn't look terrible, but this bottom right corner, right there, hard to see on camera. I don't think that looks great in person, but I'll have to take a closer look at that. One Deadpool. Let me sleep up this other Magneto. And we'll get into the rest of this pack. And then the last pack, which I hope has a hologram in it. Only getting one hollow out of this would be a little disappointing. Come on. Not stuck together, but I'm just trying to be a little careful pulling them apart. All right, one to go. And let's see how we do. So it doesn't look like we're getting, it's like we're only getting one hologram. All right, we got a second Deadpool, so that's good at least. And like I said, the holograms aren't 
make or break because you're probably not getting a good grade on those, but I would have liked to pull more than one. All right, this one looks in much better shape corner-wise. Looks a little off-center. Left to right, left side looks a little heavy. Just a little bit, but not too bad. So... Essentially, like I said, hits are kind of weird here because there's basically little to no sales data in PSA 10s of these. But in regards to when I started opening this for what I was looking for. That's pretty much it. And this really isn't even that big of a deal, I don't think. Um, and then the one hollow, I'm really surprised by the one hollow did not think that those were one per box. I swear that you usually get two or three of them. And I don't think it was searched or anything. Um, it looked pretty well originally sealed, but then the break sometimes, at least we pulled out two Deadpools at the end. I really don't think the one's going to be gradable based on the corner. Same with one of the Magnetos, but I think the other one looks pretty solid. And the Wolverine looks good. I just got to double check the centering on it. I do think it looks a little heavy on the one side, but when it's close like that, I use the trusty tool. Where's my tool? That's not it. That's card saver. This bad boy right here tells all. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. We will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.